Hi everyone and welcome to the video that's going to show you how to convert any vehicle into bulletproof form. Now this is an exceptional discovery and I learnt this trick from YouTuber ZarZarZar691 or 961, I can't remember, it's one of those. But um, I learnt the trick from him and I guess he discovered it, I'm not 100% sure but uh, I want to give him the shout out anyway. And this conversion trick is a little bit different from the ones I've taught you recently, which are the Crusher Glitch and the Shoreside Popproof trick. This conversion trick is the first conversion trick where it will delete properties from a vehicle. So you have to be very careful which vehicles you're trying to consider for this bulletproof conversion. But the good news is, is that not all properties are deleted. The heavy property, popproof property, obviously waterproof property for a bike, and superior handling all remain during this conversion process. Only the fundamental properties such as explosion proof, fireproof and damage proof are erased from the vehicle during this conversion. So to make a good example of this I'm going to use my fireproof, tipproof, potproof, exclusive colour chrome red stallion with red roof um, and convert it into bulletproof form. And the cool thing about this is that only the fireproof property is going to be removed during this process. So actually I forgot to mention tip proof remains as well. So heavy, tip proof, pot proof, waterproof, superior handling, all remain. But the fundamental properties, explosion proof, damage proof, fireproof, get erased. I hope that cleared things up. So I'm just going to show you now that this car is indeed fireproof because it really is a good example you can see fully fireproof and I'll just quickly show it's pot proof as well yep I might as well demonstrate it's tip proof just so you get my point so it's really lucky that the uh, bulletproof conversion doesn't delete all properties so actually the um, bulletproof tip proof pop proof exclusive color chrome red stallion is actually better in a way than the fireproof tip proof pop proof exclusive color chrome red stallion because bulletproof is actually a more useful property in the long run so there you go it's completely tip proof As such. So when you've decided which vehicle you want to convert to bulletproof, you probably better save it in your garage. You don't have to, but it's certainly easier because you might mess this up a few times. So make sure you have your desired vehicle in the garage before you start this process. Because it's a little bit tricky if you're not used to it. So I hope I'll try and make it as easy as I can. So what you want to do now is get yourself a police car. Now it has to be a vehicle that you can use vigilante. So a police car, an FBI car, an enforcer. But obviously we're only going to be interested in obtaining the police car as it's easier. So just go to the police station, which is about here. Get yourself a police car. And then what you want to do is get yourself to this rampage over here. this rampage that's just around the corner from your safe house. So I'll see you here with a police car. Right guys, when you have your police vehicle, just go to the rampage like it was shown in the video and park your car in such a way that the driver's door is right next to the rampage when you exit, just like that, as you can see. Now this is stage one of On Mission Zero, and in this video I'm actually going to show you how to activate stage two afterwards, because you need to activate stage two of On Mission Zero to actually do this bulletproof conversion. And stage two of On Mission Zero is getting the bumps and grinds menu on the screen. And the way you do that, in a nutshell, is first you merge the Vigilante mission and the rampage together so you get on mission zero stage one and then what you do is you drive to the bumps and grinds um, Location 
which is the Sanchez and the Park. And then what you do is timing it very carefully, and I'll show you how to do this, you get out of the police car where you're given 50 seconds or so to return to the police car until the vigilante mission fails. And then if you time it correctly, the rampage will actually fail first before the vigilante mission. And then, as soon as the rampage fails, you get on the bumps and grind Sanchez. And then when you're, when you're on the bumps and grinds mission, the vigilante mission will fail in the background, giving you the bumps and grinds menu without the game actually acknowledging that you're on the bumps and grinds mission, so you can move around with the bumps and grinds menu. And that is stage two of On Mission Zero. So it's really, really difficult to explain, so hopefully visually it'll be a lot simpler. Okay guys, as soon as it goes to zero, get in your vehicle and activate Vigilante as quickly as you can. If you get the timing right, you should get this glitch display where you're running both the Rampage and the Vigilante mission at the same time. Now, to activate Stage 2 of On Mission Zero, you've got to drive to the Bumps and Grinds mission, and preferably go as fast as you can. So a good way to go there is go down here, go right, go up this big road towards the ferry terminal, and then you'll see this fence to your left. Just keep driving around, and eventually the fence will stop. You can go past it like that, and then drive down this path here. And then the Bumps and Grind Sanchez should be just over here, over this ridge. And ideally the timing you need for this to work is you want to get out of the cop car as soon as the Rampage timer hits 55 seconds or less. But don't let the time go down too much lower than 55 seconds. But it doesn't matter if it's like 10 seconds lower or something, but just be a little bit careful because, you know, if you're not concentrating, there's no beeping. And all of a sudden you can realise that time is on 30 seconds and then you probably screwed it up. So what this ensures that um, when, you, when you fail the rampage, the vigilante mission still has about 5 seconds to fail. So what you do is you basically start the Bumps and Grinds mission and then the Vigilante mission will fail 5 seconds or so after you activate the Bumps and Grinds mission. And then, because the game doesn't realise that you're actually doing the Bumps and Grinds mission, suddenly you have complete degree of freedom, even though you're actually technically on the Bumps and Grinds mission. It's really strange, but you'll see what happens in a minute. So as soon as the Rampage timer hit zero, get on the Sanchez, and don't touch anything until you get a mission failed on the screen. So it will say Rampage failed, get on the Sanchez, don't touch anything until you see a mission failed on the screen. And it should be instantaneous if you did the timing like I did, like that. Now you have to be extremely careful because you can flick through the courses with the uh, analog stick as such but as soon as you press X and you're on course 1 or any other course you've completed the bumps and grinds mission will basically activate itself and you'll pretty much F everything over you'll just teleport straight here to do a time trial uh, even if you're in the middle of this quest so be very very careful and only press X when you're on a locked course. However, if you completed all the courses already, then I'm afraid you're out of luck, and the only choice you're going to have is to reverse the entire way. But because I haven't, I'm able to go forward. Now, to get in and out of the vehicle, you absolutely must make sure that you're holding the analog stick to the left or to the right. So can you see how it says course 5, there's nothing underneath it. That means it's safe for me to press triangle like that. If you press triangle without doing that, you'll cancel the Bumps and Grinds mission. You have to do all that again to activate stage two of On Mission Zero. So here's how you get into the cop car, for example. Can you see? So you be very, very, very careful. Now I'm going to drive to the garage to get my fireproof, tipproof, potproof, exclusive color chrome red stallion with the chrome red roof and convert it into a bulletproof, tipproof, potproof, exclusive colour chrome red stallion with the red roof. And the mission that you need to be on 
is called Shock Till You Strop. I probably should have mentioned that earlier, but it's the first Maria mission of the game. So very, very, very carefully get yourself to that mission. I'm going to stop by the garage first. So yeah, if you've passed all the courses, or you've unlocked all the courses, either one or the other, you have no choice but to reverse the entire way. You cannot press X at any point during this quest. So it will only take you a lot longer, but it's still doable. So never fear, it's still very doable. So be very, very careful when entering vehicles and obviously leaving vehicles as well. So this is the vehicle I want to convert and it's now ready to be converted. Be very careful because if you cancel the bumps and grinds menu at any point, it's over. You've got to do the whole thing again. So just keep saying to yourself, careful, careful, careful. Also, you can also guarantee to get out properly if you do the drive-by look and then press triangle. That works as well. So whatever way suits you, really. And because this is on mission zero, the game doesn't realize you're on the bumps and grinds menu. It means you'll see the bumps and grinds menu through all the cutscenes as well. And you can still actually flick through it during the cutscene itself. I'll show you now. So can you see I'm flicking through on purpose? It's uh, extraordinary. So you can actually skip the cutscene if you're on a locked course. But you can't skip the cutscene if you haven't got any locked courses. So if you've finished all the bumps and grinds courses, you'll have to watch the entire cutscene. I think. Unless you can actually skip it with Circle. But actually no, Circle would actually cancel everything, so ignore what I just said, please. Right. Very, very carefully get to the marker. You're doing well so far, don't worry. This is actually a very solid, easy quest if you're careful. And it works very efficiently as well. It's less glitchy than the other on Mission Zero tasks. You can skip this cutscene, no problem. Right, I know where a police bribe is near here, so if cops are becoming a pest, if I you, I just drive straight to the police bribe. You want this to work, you don't want problems, so it might as well make life easier for yourself. There we go. So you can see reversing is safe. I'm on course one and reversing, nothing happens. Sorry guys, my phone kind of stopped recording. It's becoming a real pain, but uh, yeah, it's not a big deal. I just uh, paused the PSP and, and uh, carried on. So anyway, you need to be very careful about this next part, because this next part is the quintessential moment of performing the bulletproof conversion. So you've just done all this preparation just to fail this part is really frustrating when that happens, so just really be careful about this. So I'll, before I go into the marker, I'll do a quick explanation of what you have to do. So what you want to do is you want to drive around this side, and you want to face the marker in this direction, and not the other direction. I'll explain why. So what you, what you need to do here is you need to drive into the marker, and whatever you do, do not skip the cutscene at all. You have to watch the cutscene. As soon as Maria is outside of the car, let her enter the shop, don't skip the cutscene. As soon as the next cutscene loads, when she's in the shop, saying, I told you I haven't got anything hidden up there, get your damn hand off me, etc. That's when you have to cancel the bumps and grinds menu. And on the PSP you can do that by pressing circle. You can also do this by pressing triangle as well. The circle is the better option as you don't leave the vehicle that you're in. And you can do a quick drive-by kill when Maria's leaving the shop. But I'll, I'll demonstrate both ways of cancelling the mission. I'll do circle first. So let's go into the marker and see what happens. Just go into the marker like this. Don't touch anything. You can still flick through the courses, but don't touch anything. Now 
Now what you do is press circle and just do a drive-by kill like this. Just keep shooting and you'll kill Maria like that. And you just converted your vehicle into a bulletproof vehicle. So this is now the bulletproof, tipproof, popproof, exclusive colour chrome red stallion with the red roof. So all you have to do is just lose your free star one to level. I absolutely cannot go into pain spray no matter what because this is an exclusive colour stallion so fuck that <laughs> basically. So it's a pretty simple task. You can even go straight to your safe house and then change your clothes. But I'll show you where another police bribe is. Also, interestingly enough, I have found out how to convert big vehicles into bulletproof. Vehicles that you cannot save in the Portland garage. But you have to keep them in memory until you unlock Staunton Island. But I do know how to do that and I will make a video on that topic in the future. So you have my word on that. You will know how to do it soon enough. But for now, I just recommend doing the vehicles you can fit into the Portland safe house garage. So yeah, there you go. Just put your vehicle back. And now, I might as well just show you the properties of this. And then I'll go over this process again and show you what happens if you use triangle to cancel the mission instead of circle. Because I think on the PlayStation 2 I've heard that you cannot use circle to cancel the mission. So don't worry PlayStation 2 users, I'm coming back, don't worry. So now, the car will not be fireproof anymore but it will be bulletproof. As you can see. So a really, really cool conversion trick. And I thank Zazaza961 for showing me how to do this. If it wasn't for his help, I probably still wouldn't know about it now. So he's a really, really great contributor to the Special Vehicle Legacy. Might as well show you it's still pot proof. Like that, you can see. And finally I'll show you it's still tip proof. So as you can see, only the fundamental properties will get deleted in this process. The tip proof property, the heavy property, the pot proof property, waterproof property for bike, and superior handling will all remain during this process. So actually it's still a great process because you can get a lot of different combinations of properties. So I still have the fireproof, tipproof, potproof, exclusive color chrome red stallion, but now I have a similar chrome red stallion, but with the bulletproof property instead. The fireproof property has been exchanged for the bulletproof property. Sorry, I'm just trying to tip this upside down. It's not always the easiest thing to do when I'm on camera. Oh, come on, tip, will you? Yes, there you go. Don't worry, that smoke's there just because of damaging the car. It's just a coincidence. But you can see it won't catch fire at all. And I'll even shoot it to death with bullets again. But fireproofing is not there anymore. So I'm just going to tip it back, if I can. But you get my point anyway. Right guys, I'm now back at this stage again, just before the bulletproof conversion. And I'm going to show you how to actually cancel the bumps and grinds menu using triangle instead of circle. So if, tri if circle didn't work, you can cancel it this way. So just drive into the marker exactly the same way. Don't skip the cutscene. Right, now you're going to have to pay attention. As quick as you can, press triangle, run away from the door, get back in, and do a drive-by quick. And if you timed it correctly, you'll have converted your vehicle into bulletproof form. But you have to be much, much, much faster doing it that way. It's just to let you know. And uh, since you've already seen um, the next part, all you do is lose the cops and save the vehicle in the garage. I'm just going to show you how to convert a motorbike into bulletproof form. It's basically the same thing. You just do a drive-by in the same manner as you do a drive-by in a car, a van, or a truck. 
etc etc hi everyone i've now returned with a motorbike and the principles are pretty much exactly the same as with a car van or truck but but with a motorbike you do have the option of actually facing the doorway if you would rather do that you can so I'm just going to show you but I I'm always happy to do a drive-by kill it just works every time and it's simple there's no complications but you can if you desire do a forward shooting kill obviously with a car van or truck you absolutely have no choice but to do a drive-by kill there's no other option that you have and with the uh, using triangle to cancel the bumps and grinds mission, my example was pretty good, but I spent too long talking. Literally as soon as the first cutscene's over, and you see Tony from a bird's eye view, and Maria's ranting, just cancel the bumps and grinds mission as quickly as you can, because the faster you cancel it, the more time you have to react and actually succeed with a bulletproof conversion. You know, with the bike, you can just face this way. So literally, as soon as the screen goes black, and the next cutscene loads, press circle, and just keep shooting. So you can see the longer you have, the more likely you're going to actually succeed. So now this random motorbike I jacked from the street is now a bulletproof motorbike. Whoopie doo. Right guys, I'm now back with the motorbike to demonstrate how to cancel the bumps and grinds menu by pressing triangle. It's exactly the same as a car, but I might as well just do it for the sake of completeness. So just go into the marker, either sideways on for a drive-by kill, or head-on for a straight kill. Completely up to you with a motorbike. So press triangle, get back on, and shoot. Just like that. So with a motorbike it is actually significantly easier because you don't have a door. So when you do this particular way of cancelling by pressing triangle when you're inside a car, truck, or a van, you've got to take into account um, the door. So you've got to try and leave the door open before you get back in it again, otherwise it's going to slow you down and you might fail the bulletproof conversion. But I'm going to actually demonstrate one more time with a car, just to make sure you absolutely get what I mean. Right guys, I'm now back with the final demonstration. This is going to be how to properly cancel the bumps and grinds mission using triangle in a car, truck or a van for the bulletproof conversion. The example I did earlier was pretty good, but I think I can do better. So go into the marker like normal. Now literally as soon as the next cutscene appears, press triangle. Run away from the door, get back in, drive by as fast as you can. Like that. See? Easy. I hope this helped guys, thanks very much for watching the videos, I'm really grateful for all your support, please keep it up and um, expect to see more videos coming very soon. Cheers and thanks for watching.